Here at Systems, a job hazard analysis, or JHA, is performed on all tasks. Other companies may refer to this as a job safety analysis, or JSA, but both achieve the same goal. So what is a job hazard analysis? Simply put, it's a hazard assessment of the area where work is to be performed. Due to the JHA, potential hazards to employees involved with the work are identified and controlled before any work begins. This helps keep our employees safe and ensures they are aware of the scope of the work, able to identify all potential injuries or workplace hazards, following safety procedures, such as wearing the proper personal protective equipment and having hazard controls in place. Let's explore how JHAs are performed at systems. Supervisors or employees who have completed JHA supervisor training complete the JHA paperwork. This is done with all employees' involvement, as you could identify potential hazards or injuries that your supervisor may not be aware of due to experience. Your input is vital for JHAs. A job hazard analysis makes you ask two questions. What is involved in this task that can injure me or my coworkers? And how can we prevent injury while performing this task? JHAs require you to review your surroundings, the work to be performed, and the equipment and tools you need to get the job done. By identifying the health and safety hazards associated with a given task, you can put controls in place to prevent injuries and illnesses. To help get you started, we'll provide a quick overview on how to complete a job hazard analysis. Remember, no matter what the scope of work is, all five sections of the JHA must be completed. And now, we'll address sections one and two. In Section 1, supervision or a properly trained employee will evaluate the scope of work to be performed and complete the JHA. He or she will list the job location, date and time, and the location of activities where the work is taking place. Supervision will then mentally break the job into steps, considering all aspects of safe job execution and list this under job description. A job step is defined as a segment of the operation necessary to advance the work. The more job description details included in Section 1, the better prepared the employees will be to perform the work to be done. A detailed job description also allows the supervisor to see where and when he or she may need particular pieces of equipment to perform the work safely and efficiently. Under the titled area of Section 2 of the JHA, the employees doing the work outlined in Section 1 will sign their names only after the JHA has been completed and discussed by all involved. Section 2 identifies the foreman or supervisor in charge of the work and lists his or her radio channel or cell phone number. Sections 3, 4 and 5 of the JHA will be covered in our next segment. At the end of the day, a comprehensive, detailed JHA shared with all employees coupled with an awareness of safe working procedures, should enable you to stay safe and healthy. And remember, you have the power to stop anything that is unsafe. Safety is job one.